gave you a sort of a brief glimpse of some of the thoughts we had around the marketplace opportunity in the Dutch market. I mean, you all know that Albert Heijn and, and the Arhold brands have a pretty unique position in the Dutch market. Um, and the thinking really was to say, well, for a while we've been trying to find a way to do more non-food products. Um, you know, there's a 32 billion food and drink market. We address that market very, very well. Um, so one of the ways that we had of growing within the Dutch market was to actually address other areas of, of, of customer retail sales that we didn't have. Um, and from the left-hand side of the chart, what you can see is the non-food areas are actually very significant. So by thinking um, from a marketplace perspective, you could actually move from having a 32 billion addressable market to having a 92 billion addressable market. So that was the foundation uh, of the thinking. And um, we then looked around in the marketplace. We looked at the various actors in this space, uh, be they physical retailers or, or online retailers. And we decided that the bowl business was the best fit for our company. Uh, and it was the best fit because it's got a fantastic brand, a very broad brand for non-food. Um, it was in many of these categories that, that are very large and that we wanted to get in, into. Um, they have a long tail skill, so they know how to do long tail stock management, which is the opposite of the thinking that you know, many food retail businesses have developed over the last 30 years. Uh, they already had a third party marketplace up and running, and we thought that was an extremely important part of the mix. Uh, they had fantastic IT and IM uh, people and systems already operational, and we estimated it would take us at least three years and probably upwards of 150 million euros to build uh, the same capability ourselves, and we had some doubts whether we could be successful. And then finally, they've got a great management team and a great team of people um, down in Utrecht. So that was the, the logic behind the purchase of the bowl business that we announced last year. Um, and in 2012, uh, you know, the bowl business has had a fantastic year. Uh, they've launched into three very significant new categories, the baby category, the health and beauty category, uh, and the cookshop category. Uh, they've managed to open up 1,100 plaza partners uh, during the year, um, and that business is really at its infancy. Yeah? So we, we're not yet able to provide the fulfillment solutions, um, so this really is just about putting it on the site, and then the plaza partner has to do the rest of the work themselves. Um, we took a big step and made a big investment in putting in place free shipping for orders over 20 euros. Um, that was one of the major reasons why customers didn't shop more online. Um, and we think removing that barrier is a significant growth enabler. Uh, and it's also a significant um, um, defense mechanism against people coming into the market and trying to you know, steal our customers. Um, we doubled the business in Belgium. Yeah, so Belgium is becoming a new core market for the bowl business, and the customers there love it, as Dick, as Dick referenced in the first presentation. Um, just last month, Sander's team opened up 59 uh, bowl Albert Heijn service points, pickup points in stores. Uh, we really had no idea how that would work. We knew it researched well. Uh, the news is that customers absolutely love it. The store managers absolutely love it. In the areas where these have been put in place, it's already 6% of the bowl volume is going through the pickup points, and we haven't really pushed it. So uh, we think that's a tremendous opportunity. And we've begun the process of cross-promoting. When you take the strength of the bowl brand and the strength of the Albert Heijn brand, and you put the two of them together with the reach that we have, with the media presence that we've got, with the presence of stores and physical retail, we think it's a really, really powerful com combination. And we've begun doing some of those things with Lego promotions at Christmas uh, and some cross promotions between the Albert brand and the Bowl brand. So looking forward, um, over the next 18 months, um, you know, we are going to push this business. Yeah, you've seen it in the numbers. Many of you have been asking questions about it. We're not a private equity investor. You know, we're not looking for an exit at four years. Uh, we think this thing's got a lot of room to run. And we're making the investments. The bowl management team have made proposals to us. We thought they were very sensible. We've given them the green light to make those investments. The business will be profitable. It will not be as profitable as it was because we are going to push the sales. That was a business that was growing in the low teens. Today it's already growing in the low 20s, and we think it can go even faster. Um, one of the ways they'll do that is by looking at these categories, not just as 
another product category, but as discrete worlds within their business. Health and beauty is a world. Cookshop is a world. Um, just the same as books is a world. And that needs to integrate both their own offer, but also the plaza partners. Yeah? We need to be agnostic about whether we sell a product that's ours or we sell a product that's somebody else's for a commission. And a good example of that is, you know, Sanders looking at, uh, with his team, how we can get the ATOS brand into the health and beauty world uh, of Bol. Um, we'll open three new worlds up in significant categories uh, in January, in March, uh, and then in, in the summertime. I'm not going to share that today, with what they are, but you can rest assured they're in very large categories. The second big area of opportunity, and probably the biggest area of opportunity, is to really drive these cross opportunities with, with Albert Hein. Um, Sander, I think, is you know, committed to getting 700 pickup points operational in Albert Hein stores. Customers love it. Yeah? We know that it's a very significant advantage against all other online players. Nobody has our store network and can leverage that. Um, we're going to look and see how we can really use that uh, uh, across the promotions. Yeah, the Albert Heijn bonus leaflet is probably the most widely read publication in the, in the Netherlands. The Alahanda magazine, which anyone who's not from the Netherlands doesn't know about, but probably 20% of the meals cooked in the country come from Alahanda suggested recipes. So just getting the bold presence into those media is going to give it huge reach that today we really can't afford to do as a standalone business. And then finally, there's this whole idea of the endless aisle that's probably the biggest single opportunity. You know, in our business, physical space of shops and linear foots or linear meters has been the great restriction. And the combination of, of the online sales world and the technology that's now coming along is removing that barrier. So we can already now get to a place where a 1,200 square meter Albert Heijn store could offer a range of 6 million products. And you could pick it up in the store, just not today, tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow. And if we can help customers understand that and make that customer interface simple enough, the combination of that interface and the picking up in stores it is, it, you know, you can just sort of say the sky is the limit. We don't know how far it can go, but we are absolutely committed to finding out. And we have a unique position in the Dutch market to be able to try and do that. And then finally, Belgium. You know, the Belgium customers love the Bol brand just as much as the Dutch customers do. And we're going to push that business as hard as possible in that new market to try and grow as quickly as possible. So finally, um, to conclude, we've shared this idea of the big picture. Yeah? We've shared the fact that uh, these sales are incremental to a great extent. And we share the fact that we think this thing's going to make money. Yeah, it's not a service that loses money. It's going to be profitable. You heard from Andrew. We're bang on track with all the food initiatives. Everything is performing at or above what we were hoping for. And then finally, you know, the Bowl brand. Hopefully I've explained why we made the purchase that we made, the strategic logic, the fact that we are making investment decisions. They're conscious investment, investment decisions. Um, and we think that business has a great future, both on its own, but particularly in combination with our Dutch brands.